For me, joy is something that can't be taken away from you. When we see us, when we see us as a multitude, blackness is so big. I once spoke to someone in Europe years ago who looked at me and said, where well, you come from, do you all look like this? Perhaps maybe only they've only seen one version of blackness. And I said, yeah, in that area of South Africa. But then if you travel like 400 kilometers up there, we look different. And that's just South Africa. And that then is also parallel with the work. It's multiple. It's not just dual. <laughs> you know, it's multiple. There's so much of it. And I like to engage with the multiplicity of blackness. What resonates with me about the show is the fact that it exists, the fact that there's so many different paintings from different times. When I was told about it, the first thing I thought of was the fact that perhaps a lot of the painters of the paintings that are here are not even alive anymore because it's 100 years of black figurative painting. And that made me think of ancestry. The fact that, sure, the actual body is not here, but the work of the body is here and, it's, and their minds and what they wanted to convey with the work still exists and still informs us in a way. And that excited me. And just to see that trail that moves from the past to the present and hopefully to the future. People should see the show because it's 100 years of black figurative painting, continentally, Pan-African, but also the diaspora. Where has that happened? Normally, you go to the national galleries, maybe of the West, and you see black people as just servants, so in the corner somewhere, painted in colors that maybe don't even exist, and they're supposed to be true to form. <laughs> as jokes, as something marginal, never central. I only discovered, I knew obviously that, that there were black writers, but I only discovered my favorite black writer, Zakes and Dar, South African, when I was 19 years old. And that breaks my heart. That up until then, I was only told that the only great art that exists in the world, unless it's flippant or frivolous, and that's okay, frivolity and flippancy are also important, but the only things that exist do not look like you. And here we are, 100 years. And that we know that there's more that exists from before. People should see it for that reason.